Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In this session, we will talk about the developmental planning that is the gaps uh, analysis. So, as uh, uh, here as usual, we will talk about the uh, what is the exactly we means by the GAPS uh, development planning, conducting a gaps that is the goal, ability, perception, standards uh, analysis, identifying and prioritizing development needs, uh, and then the bridging the gaps uh, and the five steps of the coaching will be there. And as usual, we will be discussing the case study, research paper, book recommendation and the references are there. Now, you see whenever we are talking about uh, the uh, gaps, uh, it is the uh, goals are there right and um, by it was the first coined by the Peterson Hicks uh, leader and coach in 1996 and it is important for the leaders and the followers to stay relevant is now uh, become very uh, important. It is an acronym for the goals, um, abilities, uh, these, uh, uh, the perceptions uh, and the standards are there. It is used to build a skills, knowledge and behavior in your personal and the professional life is there. So, therefore, in that case it, it, it is important that is whenever we are talking about uh, the leadership uh, then uh, 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 we and uh, you are developing these teams are there then definitely you are required to have that particular goals and uh, whenever uh, we are talking about the goals uh, uh, it, it is a creation of vision if you remember correctly then uh, in these um, uh, uh, the vision statements we have talked about the leadership and there that is the how goals are to be created and whenever we are talking about the creation of goals uh, we are talking uh, we have talked about that is the how leader he should be visionary if the leader is visionary then uh, he can develop the goals and here I would like to take the example uh, that is the uh, whenever uh, we talk about uh, the long term planning and the short term planning is there. So, if we are talking about the long term planning is there, so visions will be maybe for the 5 years nowadays right because uh, we cannot talk about the 10 years and 15 years is there. However, when we are talking about at the national level like for example, uh, we are talking about the 2030. 2050. So, that vision uh, Dr. Kalam has given this particular vision. So, therefore, in that case we find that is the it, it is becoming a very very uh, important uh, that is what is the vision of the leader is there and uh, accordingly he has to decide and the creation of the goals are there. Whenever we are talking about these individuals goal, so then uh, that, uh, that becomes the particular it is a part of these uh, planning also. So, uh, in these uh, I will uh, advise you to read the essentials of management by Kunz and whenever we are uh, were studying this uh, particular uh, uh, functions of manager. So, therefore, in the goals uh, when uh, creating the goals are uh, concerned it is a part of the planning is there and the planning is are there many types of planning is there that is the uh, goals, vision, mission, strategies, policy, procedure, rules and budgeting is there. So, therefore, uh, the first and foremost uh, comes uh, because the uh, we, we if uh, they designing designing of the goal. Now, you see what, what is the goal is there right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it, it is requires that is the uh, there can be the measurable goals and there can be the non measurable goals. So, there can be the verifiable goals, there can be the non verifiable goals are there right. So, then that is the always uh, we, we refer normally normally we refer uh, about the measurable goals are there. So, therefore, this organization play within a certain amount of uh, time because the that goal it, it is to be achieved in a given time only right the, because it is a organizational aspects are there and there will be the certain dimensions or the criteria as we can say about that is they are evaluating whether or not the goals were the uh, go so how should be the goals goals are to be that is uh, realistic and achievable right so and flexible also please also understand these three characteristics of the goals are very important uh, that is a uh, flexible realistic and uh, achievable are to be there right so therefore whenever we are making this developmental planning and then a person organizations plan to meet within a certain amount of uh, time now now usually you will 
profile development plan includes the time uh, time based ben benchmarks are there. Uh, most of the time the competition whenever we are talking about the competition, the competition is going by the time period and uh, therefore, uh, when we talk about the race uh, and in the race uh, it is very important it is uh, it is not your speed only, but it is also the relevant speed. And when we talk about the relevant speed means uh, who is uh, targeting the goal whether your competitor or yourself is there. Uh, like one example I would like to give is the customer segmentation and whenever we are talking about the customer segmentation uh, that is who is approaching that particular. Uh, I would like to give the example of the nano car and therefore, in that case uh, that particular goal and then achieving that that is becoming the, uh, the that, that, that has made it the unique one is there. So, uh, when you, we want to design a goal, it is a very, very useful slide is there, where do you want to go, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, what can you do now, right. So, that is the abilities are there and the here you have to also understand that is a, what is my career objectives. So, therefore, this career objectives will be related to my abilities and then if it is matching dear friends then the people are doing the excellence so we have to we we, we have to uh, understand the match match between the our abilities and the goals are there right so therefore uh, uh, if uh, if my goal is this which requires the uh, development uh, simply uh, example is that that is the you want to participate in a particular sports right and then you want to uh, co contest that particular uh, uh, any activity or event then in that case definitely you have to develop that ability ability to win that particular uh, uh, event. So, therefore, what does your boss or the organization expects that is also now, now here I would like to give you another uh, support here and it is about the parents. So, whenever we are talking about the in, in Indian context especially. So, whenever we are talking about the our goals and then the support. So, support from the parents uh, uh, that is a society uh, parents coach that all is required. So, therefore, in that case that is the what is expected and when when when, uh, when you see that is the yes you are able to develop that particular uh, uh, ability to meet uh, meet your goals then you have to also plan and uh, evaluate and take the feedback that is whether you have you are able to achieve that goal or you are not able to achieve that goal is there right so it is the uh, dear friends uh, most of us um, they are not very clear whether in the personal role or professional role whether in the organization or uh, in in personal life that exactly what is my goal right and then you see that is there there are number of uh, uh, mythological literature is available in india which talks about that is uh, what should be your goal is there right and therefore in that case uh, uh, when we are talking about the organizational context right so what you want to be the where you want to go with your career over the next uh, uh, year or so so therefore it is a very common question is there right and therefore in that case what what will be the right answer right answer I, according to me it is a development of abilities and the matching the goal is right. So, therefore, if I am able to develop that ability in one year or two years how much time it will require and then definitely I will I will be ready to achieve that particular goal is there. That is the whatever these uh, uh, these goals are there which you you are deciding right. So, lot more energy to work on the developmental needs uh, uh, that uh, that is that, that is the most important normally people keep these very high goals, but they are not uh, ready to uh, put uh, the efforts for their development right and they are not developing their abilities. They want that is the career goals can uh, are to be achieved with my current abilities itself. So, my abilities are enough, but I always say that is the who will decide that abilities are enough or not. So, it is not only the yourself I understand that you will decide, but not only you that will be decided by your superior or by your coach also. So, whenever when the go goals are to be fixed uh, that is nowadays we are talking about the 720 degree feedback right. So, that 720 degree is uh, appraisal is there. So, therefore, the 720 degree appraisal will give us the right direction that is what abilities I am supposed to develop. So, suppose uh, uh, I, I, I alone is deciding my goal, uh, it will be incomplete process. The process will be complete when I involve my parents, my teachers, my friends right and then, then, then I realize uh, my strength, my weaknesses and therefore, on basis of that my analysis I will be able to identify that is if this is the goal 
what are the abilities are there and when we are talking about these gaps analysis no so therefore that gap between the uh, between the goal and the abilities that is to be bridged. So, here that is the people bringing a number of strengths and developments to achieve their career goals are there right and many times it is the knowledge and skills that we, we develop right and therefore, in that case uh, we received the feedback that is the yes uh, we, we, we are the skillful person and we are the fully developed person able person. No? So, therefore, that ability that is that, that you will be able to get from that particular knowledge and skills is there. Now, here you see that is the ability skills and behavior that uh, affects the others also. So, that is the perception is there. So, therefore, uh, in that case it, it is very very important how do you perceive yourself. Now, now you see you must have seen that particular cartoon in which the cat is sitting before the mirror and the seeing itself uh, uh, as a lion into the mirror right. The image of the cat is looking like a lion. So, do you see yourself as a lion or do you see yourself as a cat only. So, yes, now after this discussion, I am sure you will say that is yes, I can see myself as a lion also, even if I am a cat today, but I will become the lion tomorrow. Right. So, therefore, in that case that is the perception is there, but uh, in the case if we perceive how the cat can be the lion <laughs> right. So, then de definitely the cat cannot be never will be the lion, but we, here we are talking not in the context of these uh, and that is a physiologically we are talking here in the context of the behavior. So, today's my behavior is like a cat tomorrow my behavior once I develop the ability then tomorrow my behavior will be like a uh, lion. So, what others are saying about your various attributes are there, but uh, here also we, we should not be uh, into the illusion, illusion is to be avoided. So, that is why I said the goals are to be realistic right and therefore, in that case what others are saying, what are they, their reactions to both your strengths and your development needs is there. So, therefore, uh, if uh, somebody is uh, uh, not having that uh, potential and the somebody says that is no you will be become like uh, uh, x and y right. So, then you have to please understand that is the identify your own potential. I am not saying that is the cat cannot be the lion, but cat has to uh, has to understand that is the it, it is having that ability which can be converted into the lion is there right and that is why the others contribution that will be decided. Now, question arises what is the difference between the behavior of a cat and lion and that is called the standards. Right. So, therefore, in that case the standards your boss or the organization has for your career objectives. Now, no, I am talking about not your boss and others, I am talking about yourself. So, when you have decided to be the lion for yourself, uh, then in that case definitely uh, like here it is the example is given that is the public speaking, delegation, coaching skill before you can get promoted. So, these are very important because unless and until your soft skills are not developed uh, and tune up. What is important is that is a tune up. If you are able to tune up your skills uh, according to the goal, right, then nobody can stop you to achieve your goal is there. But your goals are very high, but you are not made developing your ability and you are not understanding the benchmarking practices, then definitely in that case it will be very difficult because uh, the, that, that those standards, those benchmarking practices that which you have to suppose to adopt, uh, right, then that, that will be the only by developmental process. Um, but if uh, somebody is having the high resistance for the development or uh, uh, ability for development right, um, but th that is to be analyzed right and therefore, in that case uh, it, it becomes very very important is there. Now, we can do here one exercise uh, and then you can uh, uh, from this slide uh, that you can do yourself for uh, this particular uh, exercise uh, um, before I go further slides and uh, helping you to do this exercise. Uh, it, it is better that is the where you want to go, what is your goal? So, please note down that is what is your goal, what you want to do and how to decide the goal? Goal should be done on the basis of the self appraisal that is what is my strength? And what is my potential? And then, then if this is the goal, then we have, we have talked about the abilities. That is, the, so therefore, here I would also like to connect job description, because goals in the organization will be a particular job, and for that particular job description, you have to develop that uh, cash model. So, knowledge, attitude, skills. So, that abilities which you want to develop, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, those uh, you identify, identify those abilities. 
Uh, normally, I keep on saying my the research scholars, it is if you want to publish in the good journals, then you, there are the two skills are very important, your analytical skills and your communication skills, because wh what do you analyze and then how do you communicate your analysis, interpretation and that is a discussion part. So, that, that abilities are to be developed and uh, on basis of that, uh, uh, now, now here what can be the strength and weakness both, that is your perception. How do you perceive yourself? Because th these whatever you have identified uh, those particular uh, skills and abilities which you want to develop, if, if your perception is this that is I can, I will, nobody can stop you. You can be magi anytime, but if the, your belief is this that is the, uh, the, the anyhow I have to just run my bread and butter and uh, therefore, in that case uh, I, I cannot develop that particular skill. If that, that perception is developed right goals are not focused goals are not realistic right then definitely in that case you will not be able to reach to your goals so goals and the standards uh, uh, are the future oriented these quadrants ask where you want to go what your boss or your organization expects of people in these positions are there now no that is also you have to see similarly here i would also like to put the one analogy analogy with the family family is also expecting certain goals from you and then you have to achieve those particular goals and these goals may be uh, to uh, pros, uh, provide the safety to the family, uh, that may be the social support, that may be the economical support right and therefore, in that case uh, uh, those abilities to develop right putting those standards and then the helping the people whether you are in the family or whether you are into the organization. So, these abilities and perception quadrants uh, right they are focused on the present and therefore, uh, what is the future is required and how are these attributes affecting the others are there this is also important. Because please understand we are not developing ourselves in isolation individually we are developing with the organization unless and until we do not become the part of the organization then there, there cannot be the individual development. Those people who believe that is I will develop myself, but not in the contribute to the organization and uh, they are into illusion, they are blinds right, because they are not able to understand, they are not able to see that is the their development totally depends on the organizational development is there. When the individual will grow, the organization will also grow and when organization will grow, individual will also grow. So, it is a mutual growth uh, developmental process right. So, therefore, in that case what is important is this that is the that uh, particular uh, goal identifying these abilities, creating the perception, developing the standards. So, the, this will be building a developmental plan is there right. So, therefore, these are practitioners identify high priority development needs are there and I think here is the difference. The difference is this the person who decides his goal right and then he what is the priorities and development are there. Now, you see there will be lot of deviation, there can be the social deviations, there can be the economical deviations, there can be the technological deviations. And as the, uh, the person uh, uh, when he gets this colorful deviation get involved into these colors, so his original color <laughs> changes, so his original goal uh, get lost somewhere right. So, these specific steps are creating a high impact development plan right. The first and fo foremost is the that is first is a commitment dear friends, commitment for what career and developmental objectives right. So, therefore, your objectives come directly from the goals gaps analysis is there it is where you want to be or what you want to be doing and that is in the case it, it, it is the first and foremost uh, are you clear that is what you want to be. Do you know what is the difference between a job and what what is a career is there. And what you want to do? No, no I, I, I find many people uh, they, they, they are involved in job, but they talk about the career and I think that the, that is becoming the uh, mismatch or gap is there. Because the, the difference between the job and career is career is something plus your knowledge is plus, your skills are plus, your abilities are plus, your habits are plus. So, therefore, in that case uh, and that, that bridging the gap of the um, uh, present and plus and that if you are able to many people are going to be the minus right, because the, the, uh, many times you get the position because of by chance, but sustaining the position and development of that particular position that will become a very critical issue. So, therefore, in that case these goals uh, 
uh, that road map no, uh, it is very difficult to work on that road map. As I said there you will find the number of squares right and then there will be the deviations will be there and then the person uh, uh, then he will deviate then again he will join then again he will deviate then again he will join. So, that journey will be uh, on, on this uh, God's blessing only. So, therefore, what it look like if you developed a particular skill required a technical expertise or the change the behavior in your developmental objective is there right and uh, here you can go through that uh, uh, cognitive dissonance also please understand that is the your attitude might be different, but your behavior is to be different right, but your the behavior is supporting your developmental goal. So, uh, in the softer skills such as listening, managing conflict or the building relationship which I was talking about and that was about this building relationship is there. So, whenever we are having this building relationship is there uh, then definitely in that case if these relationships which we are developing with others right and therefore, your cognitive ability is becoming very very important and once you decide it is yes, yes boss right then the action steps will be taken and therefore, in your developmental plan you are developing developing the abilities and the on the job action steps which the leader is required to be taken right and therefore, in that case you are matching matching your ability with that particular need of the organization uh, individual development and the organizational development plan. Right. And these are the certain softer skills uh, uh, that is the now no, you see the uh, simple example is managing the conflict. Now, in the managing conflict you can you can compete also I, I have seen those who are very fast in developing their uh, career goals and they most of the time they are getting the uh, uh, stopped by the conflicts because the, they, they develop the conflicts because they are not ready to wait and the, those who do not uh, wait then they are they are not serving the best. So, who will serve the best who, who waits right. So, therefore, in that case now you see all these issues that is the criteria for success is there and therefore, in that case uh, uh, no, 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 no you see that is uh, your goal is in your mind and therefore, you are tuning up with your soft skills and therefore, you are changing your soft skills and as I mentioned yes there you will say so is it not a manipulation. No, it is not a manipulation it, it is a attitude and cognitive difference right and therefore, in that case in a given situation what is required to be behave that is expected. So, therefore, in that case that action steps it is difficult for leaders to think of the appropriate on the job action steps are there. So, whatever the job action steps are there that, that has to be developed in the given time and if you are able to develop that in the given time those action steps you are taking then the, in that case definitely you will you are the criteria for success and your action steps and that will be matching. Now, what are the barriers here? The barriers are the personalities are there and therefore, in that case uh, now when we are talking about the personalities and leadership styles then definitely in the, they, they might be the conflict and not only the uh, between the boss and subordinate there might be the interpersonal conflict there might be the intrapersonal conflict also. So, therefore, uh, uh, where we are we want to develop that particular developmental plan many times we will confronted with ourselves that is the whether I am going into the right direction or not and whether the whether I have decided that goal is the accurate or not is there. And uh, dear friends please believe me if you are that gaps analysis that quadrant please do not forget that is the goal and the abilities uh, right and therefore, in that case the perception which you have developed and it is based on the strong roots and then if it is based on the strong roots then definitely you will be able to implement those particular uh, the action plan which uh, you are developing for yourself is there right. Now, here again there will be the action learning will be there uh, please recall that is uh, we have talked about in the leadership also that is the you you have to match uh, your leadership style with the given uh, followers maturity level or when in a given situation is there contingency theories we have talked about and therefore, in that case the action steps which you are required to develop then if it is matching with your criteria for success then definitely in that case uh, uh, you will be able to achieve your goal is the, uh, meeting the standards are there which uh, you, you have talked about. Now, here also it is becoming very very important that is the whenever we are talking about these action steps are 
are there then it will be the experiential learning is there. Uh, um, then uh, if you, you are doing those uh, steps uh, and then interactive for example, example is the relationship with the boss is there and when you decide it is okay from today I will try to develop my relationship with the boss. Now you see the interpersonal relationship is based on the two ways therefore the, uh, the uh, uh, however it is uh, uh, less critical and challenging as compared to the intrapersonal relationship is there and therefore in that case if you are going for this particular uh, uh, these uh, intrapersonal relationships right then it is it, it is very important to whom to involve and uh, where the we are having uh, that uh, particular uh, relationship is there. Now you see in intrapersonal relationship and interpersonal relationship with the bosses this uh, it is becoming uh, very, very important. Do you need to get it the from and how often do you need to get it from others? Now here it, it, it is the it will depend on the others also. Uh, this is the I think that is a critical situation is there. Whenever we want to achieve our goals, if our goals are dependent on our own abilities only, then definitely in that case uh, uh, I am sure that most of us will be able to achieve that particular goal. But whenever we are talking about that is a go uh, our goals are uh, achievement of our goals that depends on others also then definitely in that case uh, it, it will be becoming a, 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 a very challenging task. Because to whom do you meet? Are you able to meet uh, that the person uh, that is the with whom you are uh, uh, the efforts which you are making that has been uh, it is just liking that is uh, uh, whether uh, your dating is going to be the successful or not, sir, right, right. So therefore, even if your effort you are making lot of efforts, but your boss is not noticing it. Right. Then in that case uh, how you will be able to achieve your goal. Right. So therefore in that case uh, uh, it, it is becoming very important and not only with a boss. If you, the people with whom you are working and they are not improving and there is no improvement then how you can achieve your goal. So therefore like here uh, that is a team effectiveness. In the team effectiveness uh, together everyone achieves more. TEAM that we have talked about in the our previous sessions right. So therefore, you need to do the it differently do you need to for re refocus your efforts are there if you are if you are not getting the results relook it and when you are able to relook uh, your resources I am sure then you will be able to identify whether I will be uh, able to achieve that particular goal or not uh, and therefore in that case uh, it, it is very very important and that when you relook right then often uh, you have to see that is what are your resources are there. Like here I would like to mention the management resources main, machine, material, money, method and minutes. Dear friends to achieve the goals these six resources are very very important is there. Do you have enough manpower? Do you have the technology? Do you have money for that? Do you know the methodology? Do you do you know that is the whatever this uh, there is uh, um, the uh, method is there? Do you have enough time? Therefore, in that case, uh, it is the bridging the gaps. Uh, particular development need the uh, uh, describes the how to steps for a particular skill or behavior is there, and therefore you will be uh, going for that particular resources. Now here when we are reflecting with a partner uh, then the, the, that uh, I was mentioning about who is your partner? Your partners are uh, 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 should uh, uh, they, uh, be the your colleagues and your subordinates and your boss right. So therefore in that case the, what is the reflection with the partner is there. The identity of the partner is not particularly important as long as you trust his or her opinion and the partner is familiar with your work situation and development plan is there. So therefore uh, you will be enough lucky that you get this uh, supporting partner, partner means uh, again that is a superior subordinate and colleagues. So therefore in your development plan if your partner is very strong and then it is supportive then definitely there will be no problem because there is a trust is there. Whenever we talk about the coach right and the coach uh, uh, and the trainee right uh, learner. So therefore in that case if there is a trust is there then definitely that the dead partner is the best partner for your development plan is concern is there. Now in the 5 steps of the coaching you leaders both a good roadmap 
and a diagnostic model for improving the, uh, the strength, uh, right? And therefore, this Peterson and Hicks has given uh, that model uh, uh, for the high performers is there. So, that is a forging a partnership is there. Now, here you see that coaching involves the establishing a relationship built on uh, the mutual trust and respect with a follower is there, right? And that high capability to build a strong relationship with the follower is there. And uh, um, uh, right from this particular course, we are talking about that leadership and team effectiveness trust is the factor uh, which is building uh, on the relationship between the leader and the follower is there. So, good listening skills to better understand their followers career aspirations and the motivators are there is there. Now, here um, for example, these career objectives are there right and therefore, uh, uh, here example is taken as a career strategies are there and when these career strategies are there, the abilities are there that is the what, what development needs will you have to overcome and then it will be the boss, peers and direct reports as I was keep on talking about this and uh, here the standards, uh, the standards are the benchmarking practices and benchmarking practices here we, we have to talk about that is the expectations uh, which have been the, uh, the part of uh, uh, this particular uh, group or team or the organization is concerned is there. The subordinates career objectives uh, and this, this this process will also help you in 720 degree or the potential appraisal, right? So, when the le leader should be able to identify the potential, it is not only the performance appraisal, it is the ability of the person which the person has and what uh, the in future what he can develop. So, uh, the addition, additional information will be there both leader and the coach employees will be having independently and then get together and discuss that is whether they are having this particular strength or not. And, ident and identifying the priorities the development needs are there. Now, the growing skills creating a development and coaching plan. Now, the, now you see uh, in the, this much part is very practically possible, but when you go for the growing skills many people they deviate. Right. So, therefore, once the development needs are identified now it is a responsibility of the developer right that is the whether the is having the high level of commitment then this point I was uh, trying to mention that is the commitment 100 percent commitment is required when they are given the opportunity to develop their own plans are there. Now, here in addition to the development plan leaders must build a coaching plan that outlines the actions the, no no you see there is a direction a very simple process so, there is a direction and there are the efforts are there. So, the, the leaders must build a coaching plan and then the, um, the follower is, is uh, following that plan then definitely nobody can stop uh, to achieve the success. The, these uh, promoting the persistence helping followers stick to their plans right and therefore, in that case that, that support is given uh, is designed to help followers to manage their uh, irresponsible act. A large part of the coaching deals with the helping the followers stick to their uh, development plans are there and that is why you see that is called the continuity and the consistency. So, once the plan is developed like a simple example early morning I will get up and I will go to the stadium right. No, no, no there the consistency the plan is developed discussion is done and then it is decided action plan is decided you have to get up early in the morning, but then in that case uh, for one week yes uh, that uh, your uh, uh, the that uh, uh, coachy employee he is uh, ready right, but next week then he finds it is raining the next week he finds it is very cold, next week he finds it is too hot. So, therefore, in that case uh, that promoting persistency that will not be there and uh, but yes now um, what will bring the success the leaders can also have to promote persistence by capitalizing on the coachable moment. So, the leader has to be also present there for during this particular winter and cold and summer. So, transferring skills creating a learning environment is there right and uh, always we talk about that is the major responsibility of the leader is to create that environment because our senses, our senses are diverted what we see, what we, we eat, what we touch right and therefore, that brain, brain workings on, on, on basis of our senses and then there is a control mechanism is required what we in the what has been told um, by Lord Sri Krishna into Gita and therefore, in that case it is very, very important that is the uh, Gyanendriya right that is the how you are getting the knowledge and then how you are perceiving and re reflecting, reflecting if you are able to control, control your sensor then definitely you are able to create that environment. Now, this, this is required an environment. 
So, if you put a child uh, into the playground, if you put a child into the classroom, then definitely in that case you will find that particular environment, um, the, the way he will get in, involved into that particular environment. Right. Uh, so, therefore, it is the to the by making leaders and followers development partners and then both parties can provide regular feedback. Now, now you see the commitment is required from the both sides. If the commitment is reduced from the other side, nowadays in the old days it is okay, but nowadays if the commitment is uh, lacking in the one partner, the other partner will be having the double lack of uh, commitment, lack of commitments, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, review the coaching plans and uh, see when together are there and then I am sure by, by while developing these gaps analysis, gaps, right. So, therefore, uh, identifying the your goals, developing the ability, getting the coach. Now, when we are talking about the leadership and team effectiveness, here you see that it is a role of a coach. When the role that coach uh, is uh, playing as a leadership role and providing that environment developing the skills, identifying the potentials, abilities are identified, the perception is positive and the standards are developed and uh, then working on those standards, giving the direction, I am sure that that is the with the help of these gaps, uh, the one will be able to achieve the goals. Um, uh, and these are, these are uh, certain uh, supporting study material, this is the case study, this is the research paper, coaching on leadership behavior and uh, this is about the book which has been re referred, career planning, developmental and management is there, right. Uh, and these are the as usual references which you can refer. So, this is all about, uh, uh, this is the gaps analysis uh, to develop a relationship and effective team building by a leader. Thank you.